Hello and welcome to Beyond Overdubbing, building a generic IR tracker. Mm, this talk will share some of my experiences with getting into IR-based metaprogramming and my conclusions about two main libraries of the existing infrastructure, IR tools and cassettes. So at the beginning of my master's thesis, I was given a, a very loose task of analyzing the dependency structure in Turing model. Turing is a probabilistic programming language embedded in Julia. And I was thinking about just basic computation graph extraction, like in trace based automatic differentiation, and was researching in that direction, but found that there is more interesting structure to a model than just the computation graph of the loss function, for example. And so I decided there is need for a new way to track the complete execution of a function, and that this would most easily be achieved by combining ideas I had heard from Zygote and from DAD literature and that I needed to trace the executed IR, but with recursive structure preserved and control flow recorded as well. Uh, as prerequisites, I assume basic familiarity with metaprogramming, generated functions, AP, the IR, and so on, and will mostly focus on the red part down there, um, namely a concrete IR transformation. An example of such uh, transformation is shown here. So we take a function f, uh, the original IR of this can be obtained and then we can by another function sloppy if transform the original IR and extend it with basically this convert statement and this uh, leads to the ability that you can call the original function with non-boolean arguments in ifs for example. Mm. Now there is two libraries which uh, can make IR-based metaprogramming easier for you, Cassette and IR tools. Cassette has a lot of infrastructure based on this compiler pass technique. You can do plain compiler passes like the one I just showed you, but you're pretty much on your own when you do that because you only get the raw code info objects and just have to return the transformed code info objects. The main target though and the main advantage of Cassette is one specific and very general transformation that has already been implemented for you and this is called overdubbing. Basically with overdubbing you can overload what it means to call a function Julia. So every single function call within the R gets replaced by these overdubbing blocks shown on the right and by this you can control the behavior by overloading the overdub method and the other methods and dispatching on a type of f, the type of the context and the argument. So this kind of transformation is already quite useful and sufficient in many situations, like uh, extraction of computation graphs, directly format, forward mode ID can be implemented, logging, concolic execution tools exist, and so on. But there's also IR tool, which focuses on a custom representation of the IR, um, and this is different from code info and allows you to more easily manipulate things like uh, especially renaming variables automatically, inserting statements, uh, changing the block argument, and uh, general sequential limitation and rebuilding of the IR. And it has a different interface, which is called Dynamo, that is very similar to a generated function, um, but allows you to work directly with the uh, internal representation from IR tools. And this specific Dynamo shown here is the implementation of this lobby ifs transformation shown before, so you walk through all blocks, you walk through all branches within the blocks, you search for the conditional branches, and if you find one, you replace it by a converse statement, uh, you add one converse statement to the condition. Um, for my work that I did now in my master's thesis, I decided that I needed to use IR tools, since the transformation will involve, uh, there will be transformations involved that go beyond the capacity of just overdub. And the representation I ended up with was this one. And you see that this is very specialized for my purpose. So the graph is constructed directly in the transformed code um, with the this expression statement inserted. And there's some ability that is very similar to overdubbing. And within these tracked arguments and tracked call and tracked variable things, you can recur based on the context. And Thirdly, branch arguments and jumps are recorded as well, which requires rewriting some of the branching structure and inserting a new block. So the blue and red arrows show how you have to insert those tracking statements for branches. 
and this is what comes out if we use this tracking transformation. So on the left are shown the intermediate representations of two functions, and on the right is the track of the, the outer function. And you see on the outer level the track of the function itself, and on the inner level the recursive tracks, but only those parts that were actually executed during this particular execution. Yes, um, this basically works. It has some quirks still. It's pretty slow even after the first compilation time. Maybe that's due to do some type stability issues that are still left. Um, once you have this, you can take a Turing model, get its function, track it, and extract a dependency graph like the one shown below. So what I ended up with was something that works pretty similar to cassette in principle, with something like overdubbing, etc. And this sort of design has happened to others before, I have heard, for example, in Jane.jl. However, uh, you can't really easily write such an implementation in cassette itself by using just overdubbing, because branches and blocks and blocks arguments are not reified in the context of the dispatch mechanism. And with a compiler Python cassette, you end up bookkeeping all the information in the code info yourself. So IR tools, in this case, works much better because you completely rebuild the IR structure yourself with some changes to the control flow. But even there are still some quirks left with blocks and branches who are not treated as first class citizens, like when you iterate over a block. And ideally, what I would wish for is that we could have a an IR-based metaprogramming system with the capabilities of the IR, IR tools representation, but with some more features for um, branches and blocks. And also, uh, secondly, something that works like overdubbing, but does more, not only overdubs functions, but blocks and branches and pieces of IR instructions themselves, and uh, they should be reified and accessible as well, something like shown on the right of this code. So the first of those goals would be achievable by existing and extending, um, extending the existing IR tools and maybe rethinking some of the internals. The second goal could be, uh, in principle, be factored out from the IR track implementation. And I imagine it to be something like the code on the right. This is now only in my head, but it's a proposal. Um, yeah, that's basically it. You can find most of my code on GitHub, including these slides. And although I have, this was kind of a critique of some libraries, I really appreciate the work done there. I thank the community for both cassette and IR tools, especially Mike Innes, and also the Turing team for taking me on board. Thank you.